few decades ago, the biggest dream of most people in the world is to get good jobs immediately when they get out of school. Then, if you want to make it, get a job in the bank, in a good hospital as a doctor or in some big engineering company. Your money problem is gone. That era was called the Industrial Revolution era. Unfortunately, nothing lasts forever. As of 1985, according to some experts, we've officially crossed the border from the industrial era to the information age and that came with some challenges. Machines and technologies grew in their strength to do human jobs and this led to higher competition for the few remaining jobs. According to my high school's economics teacher, when the supply of any given product is higher than its demand, the price must fall. In this case, the price of labor falls and many people are out of jobs. What should we do? Well, most people think the best thing to do is to start a business, make some millions and become successful entrepreneurs. This is a noble idea. Sounds good until you try to be an entrepreneur. For most people, they start businesses at the wrong times and for the wrong reasons and that's what I'll be discussing with you in today's video. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Starting a business when you want to become rich Just yesterday, I was listening to an interview with John Scully, the former Apple CEO, as he speaks about Steve Jobs. According to John, prior to the time when Steve Jobs left Apple, the company released a product which unfortunately didn't do well in the market and because of this, Steve Jobs became very depressed and was willing to do what John Scully considered to be a wrong thing to do and that was what led to the resignation of Steve Jobs. Now, let me get you to see something here. Steve Jobs was a billionaire. He had made more money than any reasonable human being could ever spend before he was 30. So, if someone is already a billionaire, why does he get depressed because one of his company's products failed? Here's the trick. Successful businesses aren't built by people who want money and one of the worst times to start a business is when you want to do it to make millions. I say it again, successful businesses aren't built by people who do it for money and I'll explain what I mean. Take a moment to listen to some people either in politics, sport or church. Now ask yourself, what do I feel when I was listening to all of these people? Something becomes very clear. You feel inspired or convinced when you listen to someone who feels inspired or convinced about the subject he's talking about. On the other hand, you immediately get bored or unconvinced when you listen to someone who is trying to speak on the subject he isn't convinced or on the subject he isn't having any convictions about. While this is very obvious what we speak, that's the same effect on anything we create. Take for instance, I've created a few products, written a few books and made hundreds of videos on this channel. What I can tell you from my experience is that every product I've ever created without passion was received without the needed emotion by the target market. You see, a product created without passion doesn't make the market feel any passionate about it. While money is good, starting a business simply because of the money will not lead you anywhere near success because it will be very obvious that your products or services were not created out of the love for the market. Another reason why you should never start a business simply because you want to become a millionaire is that, well, building a business is too tough for anyone who wants only the money to have the strength required to get through the tough times. Starting a business, you'll get to a point where it will become obvious to you that you're stupid. You'll make mistakes, fail, get rejected, so much that if you're not truly in love with your business, there's no way any reasonable human will continue in that path. And that's probably the reason why most people stop trying. One of the wrong times to start a business is when you want a million dollars. While money is great, you can only make it if you can figure out the kind of business you'll do tomorrow if you already have a billion dollars in your bank account. When you've learned a lot about your employer's business, so many people all over the world think they are being cheated by their employers especially because they think that the employer makes all the money even though they are the ones doing the hard work. Often these people get angry and start their own business thinking that they know all the technical parts of their employer's business and they can as well make as much money as their employers. Well, these people are very correct. They know some technical aspects of running the business but unfortunately, business is like a sport or war. It's not just a technical game. 
Business, in the most part, is an emotional game. Even though you've worked in a business for one decade and you've understood every aspect of the business, you still don't know how to make such a business succeed. And I'll explain that. To understand what I'm saying here, imagine the army. Even though a good army does all it can to train its men and empower them with the needed weapons, every general knows that strategy and not weapons is the secret of warfare. So it is in business. All the technical duties you see outwardly are just like the weapons for the army. Behind all those technical tasks are the strategies, leadership skills, collaboration, discipline and mindset which are not visible to most employees. Starting a business because you think that you've known all the technical duties and tasks of a business is the wrong thing to do. Instead, you have to focus on the invisible skills that matter to the day-to-day -day running of a business. You have to be honest with yourself. Do you think like an entrepreneur? Do you have good leadership skills? Do you truly have passion for the industry? Can you do the same business for the rest of your life even if you don't need any money? Do you understand the market, the competition and the players? When you just resigned or lose your job? I've seen too many people starting a business when they just lose their jobs. The problem with this is that jobs and entrepreneurship are like, living, are like living on the planet Earth and living in space. Different laws of nature govern these two worlds and you can't just move from the planet Earth to space without preparing adequately for your trip. Having been an employee for a decade, you've been unconsciously programmed to get reward for your labor every month. You've been programmed to do only what you're asked to do. You've been programmed to see the world around you in certain ways which is usually the opposite of how an entrepreneur sees the world. Now, if you suddenly lose your job, what I advise you should do is to cool yourself down, look for another job and maybe you can then start preparing yourself for your trip to space. What I want to achieve with this video is simple. I want to get you to see that there are right times and wrong times to start a business. Don't start a business because you think entrepreneurs are rich. That in fact is a lie because most businesses fail. Don't start a business because you think that you know all the technical aspects of a business. Businesses are not run with technicalities but with strategies, skills and certain mindsets. Don't start a business because you lost your job. Take your time, get another job and then start preparing for your trip to space. Thank you very